Welcome to another video from Caris Ministries. We're glad you're able to join us today. Our passion is to see people trained, equipped and developing for ministry. And we'd love to hear from you if we can help with any of those resources. All our contact details will come at the end. You're joining us for, for part three of a series where we're looking at 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 and asking the question, what does it take to see communities transform? In 2 Chronicles 7 it says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. So these are some of the things that I think God wants us to do in order to see community transformation. Firstly, we need to humble ourselves. That's what we looked at in our first video. The second thing we need to do is pray. But we looked at a specific way of praying based on our relationship with God as Father. And today we're looking at the idea of the need to seek God's face. When you look at the history and the history of revivals, you'll see that people spent consistent time seeking God's face. One of the famous prayers of the Welsh revival of 1904, which has been uh, largely written about and greatly influenced the, the nation of the UK. And one of the famous prayers is, Bend us, O Lord. These were people who sought the face of God. They humbled themselves and they prayed. So what does it take? Well, in order to seek God's face, I, I think it involves two things. I think it involves perseverance. Jesus said, ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. And the door will be open to you. Luke 11 encourages us to persevere in prayer. In fact, in Luke 18, Jesus draws the contrast between the persistent widow, the judge and us and encouraging us to persevere in prayer. So we need to persevere in prayer. There's no automatic, it's going to happen the first time we pray. So sometimes we need to wrestle. If you take the example of, of Daniel, when Daniel had a visitation from an angelic being, the angel said to him, Daniel, your prayer was heard the first time, but I've been wrestling in the heavens for 21 days in order to get to you. So we recognize that prayer is a spiritual battle and we need to persevere. The second thing that I think seeking God's face has to do with is passion. Psalm 42 says, as the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for the living God. And so the question that, that I'm challenged with at this season in my life is, is there, is there a passion for God? Is there a hunger for God in my life? Is there a thirst for God? And I've concluded, not enough. And I've been seeking and praying God and asking God to, to revive my heart. Because I know I need to develop that. I like the story of someone who came to a wise teacher and was saying, you know, I really want to know God. I want to experience him. I want to encounter him. How do I do that? And they were sitting beside a river at this point and the teacher came and he took the young man's head and he pushed him under the water and held him under for around 30 seconds. And the guy was struggling for breath, as you would imagine. And he eventually let him go and, and his head came up again. And the young man was exasperated and looking for breath. I said, why did you do that? What was that for? He said, young man, when you desire God, when you are seeking God as much as you wanted breath, then you will find him. And so we need to be passionate for God. We need to be seeking him. If we're going to see community transformation, that comes out of passion and perseverance as we seek God. But the good news is, the encouragement is, repeatedly in Scripture, God gives us that encouragement, the promises to encourage us to pursue Him. Think of Jeremiah 29, verses 13 and 14. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. So we have that encouragement. We have Luke 11 that we've mentioned already. Luke 11 verses 9 and 10. New Living Translation says this. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened. 
For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. So community transformation begins as we humble ourselves before the Lord, as we as we pray to our Father, and as we begin to seek God's face with perseverance and prayer. Think of the example of Moses that happened later on. He said, God, we're not going to go up from here unless I know your presence is with us. We need to seek God's presence. For me, here's a, a thought that struck me. Out of our perseverance and out of our passion, we develop a greater awareness of his presence. Out of perseverance, out of passion, we develop a greater awareness of his presence. If we're going to see our lives transformed, if we're going to see communities transformed, then this is what we need to do. Thank you for watching. I hope it's encouraged you. Please feel free to watch other videos in this series and on our channel. And of course, you can view our website. All our contact details will be coming on screen for you in a moment.